Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, that means it's market outlook time. For this week, we're gonna take a look at the market, what could be upcoming. For this next week of FIFA Ultimate Team, how can we prepare for it? How can we get ready for whatever content, whatever promotions might be coming? And we're on the end, on the outs of the best of team of the week, the Black Friday and the Super Sunday promo. Now today is technically Cyber Monday, which I don't think they're going to do anything for. I think they basically replaced Cyber Monday in years past with the um, Super Sunday that they had on Sunday in foot. So I think that's kind of gone. So today I don't think we're going to get anything superb in terms of content. And honestly, Black Friday and Super Sunday were just uh, almost... I hate to say copy paste, but we got two SBCs, one player moments, and one flashback each day. Um, on Saturday, we got the the upgrade SBCs, and then we got flash SBCs on Friday and on on Sunday. So this promo was it, it was the promo was that's I mean that's all I feel like saying about it. We got 81 plus upgrades. There were more packs, upgrade packs added to the code. We haven't seen those those yet. Um, although I'm pretty likely we should see those this week. I do think we're going to still see the 81 to 87 and the 82 plus upgrade pack um, added to the code. And well, they are added to the code, but I think they're going to be added to the game this week as well. And that could potentially be a fun thing for like icon crafting and stuff. Uh, so we'll see if that actually ends up coming out, which I do think it possibly could. So that could be cool for uh, crafting either team of the week upgrades or um, also the base icon upgrade as well. So first thing I want to talk of talk about in today's video is still like the the lingering effects and the market general direction this week because of the Black Friday promo and uh, Super Sunday. So these upgrade SBCs are in here for three days. Basically, all this Black Friday stuff is still in here for three days, even the team of the week upgrade. So this stuff is actually going to expire. It says three days. It's going to be three days, um, which from right now, I just did the math. It's going to be Thursday at 6 p.m. UK is when this stuff will go away. Basically, Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, all of this Black Friday stuff will be gone. So what that does is it allows people to do these team of the week upgrades for this next team of the week. So obviously we're gonna be able to see this team of the week on Wednesday and be like, okay, Van Dyke is in, Ramos or Carvajal is in, and maybe a guy like Immobile is in, and maybe Deli Ali or whoever is in. So you might see an, uh, some people doing team of the week upgrades towards the end of this week to try to pack uh, a couple of those players because these team of the week packs, um, it says on there, you can save for later. So. Yeah, right there it says exchange a squad for an untradeable team of the week player open now or save for later so you're probably going to see some people on like wednesday maybe thursday after rewards they'll get some coins probably the 83s and 82s will be a bit cheaper then and they'll try to go out and stack a couple of these for a future team of the week if that's something they're interested in people always do that every time these packs are out not a huge amount of people but there are some people that are out there doing it if you have 82s 83s 84s um, I would say that probably Monday and Tuesday is your time, maybe Wednesday. I don't think you're in a super duper hurry to get rid of those just yet because we're probably going to have less supply during this week. I mean, we're not going to have all the promo packs and lightning rounds. They still might keep promo packs in the store, but there won't be lightning rounds and there won't be as many people focused on opening packs because best of team of the week is going to be out of packs at some point. That will kind of uh, diminish the demand on these Team of the Week upgrade SBCs. But if there's a good Team of the Week next week, you still might see some increased um, demand for people doing these SBCs. So 82s, 83s, 84s, keep lazy listing them. I don't think you really have to be worried about starting to think about getting them out um, until like Tuesday, to be honest with you. Uh, like Tuesday would probably be kind of my like target date for maybe when they could be the highest. Obviously, EA could drop some pack SBCs in that time frame. Um, or if they would again drop the 82 plus or the 81 to 86 and make either of those SPCs really easy, you might see a little bit of a drop on the 83s or 82s just because it'd be really easy to get those to the SBC, but I don't think that would impact it too much. Um, so yeah, there's my thoughts on that. Um, other things I'm going to talk about. Oh, the team of the weeks, uh, like the ultimate, the best of team of the week cards. Those suckers have been on a roller coaster ride today. I want to look at it, some guys right now. When I'm recording this, we're just after squad battle rewards, like two hours after squad battle, so a little Nate at night action. Um, but I want to look at Ben Yedder uh, and, and Mane, because those are the two examples that I think these guys have been on crazy roller coaster price rides today. Uh, 
Wassam Ben Yedder, what is he right now? Like two, just under 220, maybe 215? Yeah, looks like about 215. So I want to take a look at his graph right now and show you guys just how nuts uh, this card's price has been moving basically in the last 24 hours from recording this video. Basically from uh, Saturday night into right now. When Since the SBC dropped, the actual Team of the Week SBC, and now this card has been all over the place. So he's like 230,000 coins after all the Friday packs. Went into Saturday. Obviously Saturday we got the Team of the Week upgrade. Boom. He's down to 183. 183,000 coins. I specifically saw this card at 179, 180. It's a couple undercuts at like 170 in that time frame. He was low all night into Sunday. Sunday, he's low, 190, 180, and then at 6 p.m. UK on Sunday. Whatever triggered this, I honestly don't know. I think it's just because there's so so many people that have coins on this game now from all the packs that were opened. Like, seriously, again, I talked about it in my video yesterday, and two days ago even, that um, the amount of supply of the lightning round packs that put coins on this game from just people opening packs with FIFA points, which gives... Which, uh, provides a net increase in coins to them because they're quick selling players um, and that gives them more coins of course selling the cards does as well but that when you sell a card in the market that takes coins away from somewhere else and gives coins to somebody so it's just like a swap right but quick selling coins or quick selling cards brings a lot of coins to the market especially when you have people quick selling uh, pack after pack after pack think about every 125k pack you're probably quick selling like maybe a thousand two thousand coins worth of all like maybe a dupe uh non-rare gold or something like you have that's like an average i don't know but uh, all those rare golds add up when you get when they get quick sold and that brings a ton of coins onto the market which um, I think caused some of this rise today. I think people were like, okay, we got lighting rounds, but there was no other huge content and people just panic bought. I literally was on stream while this was happening and all these cards, like Ben Yedder was 195, he got mass bought. He was actually like 230, almost 250, almost 250K for that card in a, in a flash. Uh, in the huge buyback that happened, like a panic buyback on Sunday at 6 p.m. UK. Now you can see it dropped back down to like 208, and now it's kind of back up because I think people are getting the gist. These cards are going out of pack soon, and that's affecting their price. I want to look at Mane as well. Uh, the Inform Mane, 89 rated. This one's crazy. This one is honestly nuts. Inform Mane was like 840K. SBC comes out 745 in the panic on Saturday. He's chilling around 770, 760. Boom, 6 p.m. on uh, Sunday. The man goes from 769 to 850, 837. He was about 850 as well. Kind of back down to like the under 800 range where he is right now. So it's crazy the amount of buyback that was had on these cards. And that just shows me that this market has tons and tons of coins. Probably more coins than I can even imagine. Uh, which is crazy to think about, but it makes sense because of all those packs that were open. So that really makes me think that this week is going to be a massive rise in the market week. I don't think that's out of, I think that's what everybody expects, uh, but I think there is going to be a really crazy increase. That's a nice undercut right there. 780, it's like a 15K undercut at the moment. Is this going to get bought? It is going to get bought right away as per. Um, so that's why I want to kind of advise you guys in a few different ways this week. Uh, at least early on this week, I think literally for the rest of this week, you're going to see the market climb up, especially in the, in the realm of informs road to the final cards and other out of pack specials. So screams, I think would be rising as well. Uh, the only thing that would stop that is if EA continues to put out a lot of SBCs. I don't know what other SBCs they would put out that would really make a, a big panic on this market. I'm sure they'll keep doing some pack supply SBCs just because they're going to try to start again draining coins from people's accounts after Black Friday. You're probably going to see another player moments SBC or another flashback SBC this week, or maybe even like a Champions League SBC. I don't think we've had one of those yet, but I think that's very possible. Uh, we'll talk more about Champions League in a little bit, uh, talk about some of those cards. We're also getting very close to the player of the month time frame. Um, we could very well have a messy player of the month card coming out in the month of December for his fantastic month of uh, November. So we'll talk about that because a lot of these player of the months have uh, just a few days remaining. I think Jamie Vardy has like three days until he's gone. Uh, but uh, we haven't got the voting for Prem player of the month yet. So we'll talk about all that stuff when it comes. Maybe we'll have some conversations about player of the month this week. 
Um, but mostly it's just going to be people maybe trying to fit together these SBCs. A lot of people are going to end up doing these SBCs if they're able to craft them from 81 to 87s or 82 pluses. Right now, I feel like the 81 pluses are kind of turning people away um, because you can actually get decent pulls from these. But everybody's trying to do these to try to hit like the inform Mbappe, the inform Mane from the Premier League, or you know maybe the inform Hazard um, or Messi from La Liga 81 plus. That's what people are trying to hit from these, which is going to be pretty hard. But you can get a lot of good fodder from these, like 85s, 86s, a lot of walkouts, a lot of board drops. Um, but they're just kind of expensive. You need six rares from that league, and a lot of the rares right now are going for a thousand coins. So. That's that doesn't make these SPCs really appealing to me. And I don't think people are going to grind them. They're not craftable, I guess. They're not really craftable from that sort of sense because you have to have so many rares and specific rares from leagues. So we'll see what happens this week again with the other uh, SBCs. Uh, I think that could make crafting a, a thing that we be talk about for the next couple of days. If uh, they put out the 81 to 87 and it makes uh, icon base icon upgrades craftable, there's going to be a lot of people spending a lot of time on the menus crafting those. So that's what I want to talk about with those. But again, if you guys are looking to make some coins this week, again, I, I spoke about the market going like straight up all week. A lot of the informs on the market really have not been panic sold that much. Some guys are down, some guys are chilling, some guys are actually just going up. Um, obviously, a lot of the links to our favorite center back in the Premier League, Virgil van Dyke, have gone up. Uh, Fabinho right now is 206, which is you know, he was 180 before the, the promotion. He hit 206 during the weekend, and he's still chilling there. And uh, Robertson as well, if I could type his name incorrectly. Uh, Robertson in form was like 180 or 190 before Black Friday. He went up to like two. He was actually like 240 today, I believe. Yeah, 240, 243. Yeah, 237. And uh, he's back down to kind of 220. But there's a lot of people that are invested in this card, so I'd be very careful. There's a lot of hype around that Van Dyke Team of the Week card. So I'd be very, very careful uh, with that. But other, otherwise, look around the market and look for stuff that rose this week uh, during the weekend league that maybe be that maybe is kind of being sold off right now. Weekend league sell off. Bernard right now. I mean, one of the most popular left mids in the prem. Uh, Brazilian gets a lot of links this weekend. It, it doesn't show that he went up, but he definitely hit 200 at one point. Yeah, Friday night in the big buyback 197. Saturday, he was decently high. He hit, he did hit 180. Sunday, he was like 186 to 190 all day. So uh, this card would probably be one that I would con consider seeing rising again in the week uh, after the Black Friday promo. And just look through a lot of these cards. I'd be, I'd be careful with Deli Ali because he could be getting that inform this week. But a lot of these informs are still kind of at a, at a range where they're low enough where you could buy them and make some profit off of them this week because they're used in a lot of people's squads Samedo, not really he's uh he's still kind of up if you see that at like 120 i'm a fan theo hernandez be very careful with he very well could be getting an 84 rated inform this week there's going to be a lot of link investments around that card for thursday flipping if we do see that so that's the kind of stuff you guys can be looking into and even some gold cards if we're not going to be getting a lot of supply this week i bought one of these i bought a griezmann today at 140k I mean, this guy, basically during Black Friday, he didn't move. He went from like 140 during the packs, 150. He went up to about 150 on the big uh, Friday night buyback. He was just chilling around 150 on Saturday. And then Sunday, he was like 140s and even right 140 flat. So this guy's pretty low. And I do think that he's going to get right back up there because I could see this card at 180 by after Thursday rewards, Thursday flipping, because this is one of the most used cards in FIFA. And there's plenty of golds out there. Um, a bomb Yang is another one. Um, I think that it comes to mind right away just because I've talked about it with a few people. 140K, this could be definitely a card that reaches back up to like his uh, pre-Black Friday panic price of like 180 after weekend league rewards this week. Weekend league rewards flipping should be very, very good this weekend uh, because we have an opportunity to trade in a market that is full of coins, that people have a lot of coins to do stuff with. And uh, that should be that should make Thursday flipping pretty fun this week. The last thing that I want to talk about is SBC fodder. SBC fodder. So let's say you kind of missed the boat in some of the informs. You can't find any of those. Um, or you just have a good chunk of, of coins, maybe a couple hundred K that you want to try and do something with. Um, right now, uh, again, I'm recording this after squad battle rewards. So there's a little bit of extra supply on the market, but, um, some of these fodder, like the 87s, the 88s, I'll go back over here to flip it and show you guys. 
Some of these cards are really low. 85 rated were all 9k before squad battle rewards and looks like a lot of them took a hit. Now they're down below 8 on some of them. Bruno Fernandez is below 8k. 86 rated players are down like 2k. They were 16. 87 rated players at 20k. Like that's low. 20, 21, 22k for any of these 87s is decently low. 88 under 30. I mean 26k for Cavani. 27k for arguably the most linkable man 88 rated card. Uh, David Silva. 27k is nuts. 27k for Cruz is nuts. And then some of these 89s are really low too. So if you're somebody who wants to do a club stock, I think there's going to be a lot of people this week that are going to be continuing to do the base icon SBC. Even if we get the 81 to 87 rated um, pack SBC, I don't think that will eat into the prices of the 86 or the 87s that much. And of course, the 88s and the 89s are still used a lot in those SBCs. So I think a club stock, and if you want to mass invest, I mean, I don't know if I would give you the green light on that, but I feel like I almost might. If you want to just go deep and buy a lot of these players, the base icon SBC is going nowhere. It's still going to be here for another two weeks. And that's just a way where people can drain their coins and do those SBCs because those icons are actually going to be going out of packs here very, very soon. The base icons are not going to be in packs for much longer. And uh, this is kind of like a last chance that EA is giving us to maybe have a chance at going and getting those if we can't afford one with our own coins, I guess. They're giving us a chance to do this SBC and pack stuff from it. And a lot of people have packed good stuff from it. So if you haven't done a base icon SBC or if you don't want to do one, that's fine. But I think uh, investing in some of the very high rated fodder is a very good shot this week. Because if you look at some of these cards prices, like we'll go back and look at Busquets for a second. 89 rated card. Yes, he got hit with some supply this weekend. But when the SBC first came out last week, the man was 48, 49,000 coins. He's went back down with some supply, but I do think these are going to ramp back up. Uh, even look today, he's dropped like 5k today uh, on Sunday. He was 41k in the morning, held like 38 to 40k all day, and then boom, he's down to 36. And right now he's down to 35 again. So a lot of these cards, I think, are really, really great investments. I think you could see them, um, like these 89s could pop back over 40K really easily in like a day's time or two. Um, and then the 88s could go up, you know, five, six, 7,000 coins. Same with the, the 87s. So I think that's a really, really good investment this week. And um, I think you guys should be on the lookout for that as well. There's probably going to be a lot of opportunities during this week. If there is an SBC, the, an SBC card that comes out, people are going to have coins. So you might see some panic selling around cards that they, an SBC comes out for, like a, a substitute good. So like today, Bailey came out. So maybe you saw a little bit of a sell-off with Kingsley Coman. I didn't actually look, just kind of saying that. I'm not sure if he actually was sold off or not. But you might see some of that stuff during the week this week, and that would be a really good thing to pick up on the panic this week because there's going to be a buyback from the panic uh, because the market has a lot of coins. Whenever the market has a lot of coins, if there is panic, the buyback is really quick. Basically, what we saw today with the informs and the panic, um, the panic investing and in like the Ben Yedder when I showed you the graph when he went from 190 to 220, 230 like in an hour. That's the kind of stuff you could see with a major panic sell. You, you find that the lowest time where it's kind of dipping down and starts to come back up. And then you know it's going to be shooting up because, again, the market has a lot of coins. Last thing I want to talk about. We are nearing match day six for the Champions League. Match day six, Champions League. This determines who goes on to the knockout stage uh, and who does not go on. Maybe some people go down to Europa League. I'm going to pull up that team of the week squad with the road to the finals in it right now uh sancho i'm glad i bought one tonight i bought a sancho at 187 or 184 i believe and he is definitely going up a lot of these cards are going up right now because people are buying into them because they know that th the next thing that's coming the next promo that is coming is team of the group stage and match day six and these cards will be getting upgrades in a, a week or so this is a big week for fifa this honestly is this week and next week are huge weeks for fifa with champions league content uh it's gonna be i think we're getting a uh, team of the group stage this friday because ea needs to have a little bit of time for footmas and whatever good they're gonna do with that so i do think we're gonna get team of this group stage this friday one week promo and then we'll be into footmas so uh, if I think they have to do it this Friday because if they didn't, then they would be getting really close into Footmas time. They'd be like a week before Christmas and they hadn't started anything for Footmas. That wouldn't make any sense. So I do think we're going to get a team of the group stage this Friday. So be on the lookout for that. We'll talk about more of that uh, stuff as we move on further in the week. But as you can see, a lot of these road to the finals 
have moved up in price a little bit. I'm not a fan of Mares. Mares' card might rise, but I think it's going to get panic sold big time when he gets the upgrade because he has three special cards, man. He's got the 86, the 87 inform, and the 86 um, Champions League card. So he's going to get a plus one, go to an 87 rated Champions League because when City moves on to the uh, knockout rounds, he'll get that upgrade. Uh, so that's one that I'm not a fan of. Sancho, I'm a fan of because he was still down. If you can get one at like 190, I'm a fan of that. He's already up a little bit, though. Um, just look for any panic on these during the week. Of course, Juan Jesus is a big one. Militao is up a ton already. Allen is up a ton. Let's go to the set to... Actually, let me look at uh, Coman really quick and see if he did get panic sold today. What happened to Coman's card? He's 362. Yeah, so we went down a little bit. Not much. 375, maybe to 355. I guess if you look on his graph, he was above 400. So if you can snag one... Maybe if you can snag one at like 350 or low 360s, maybe under 360, depending on what his price is, that could be a decent shout. Um, but a lot of these cards look like they're already moving up. If you can get on one that's still low, like a Marshall at like 550, a Terea around 200, a Depay under 300, a Yoris under 200, or a Party at like 140, maybe, um, those still might be investment possibilities with these cards getting a lot of hype in the next couple of weeks because they're getting upgraded here really, really soon because uh, the next Champions League games are on uh, the 10th. The 10th, which is nine days away from now. Uh, actually, not nine days away, eight days away. Eight days away from now, we are back in Champions League content. So we'll be talking about a lot more of these Road to the Final cards, their price movements, what to look out for. And one thing that I want to note with um, Team of the Group stage is that promo from last year, we're going to head back over to the webpage, actually. Sorry, I keep flipping you guys back and forth. Team of the Group stage one thing that we really have to notice here, and it outlines it right here on this website, fifautem.com. Uh, where was it at? Don't forget that ones to watch cards boost in ratings for these cards because these are performance-based upgrades. Ones to watches, if anybody gets in this uh, team of the group stage that has a ones to watch card, they would get upgraded. So um, we might have to do some research this week. Um, and see which guys have been playing really good in the Champions League. And if there's a possibility that they could get a once to watch card or a team of the group stage card, their once to watch card would get upgraded to that version. Uh, I think there was one guy last year, Socrates, got upgraded last year because he had an OTW. So we might have to do a little bit of research this week and see if anybody will get into that role based on who we have in OTW. You'll probably start to see their price go up because people will start doing the same research as we will be doing. Uh, so just kind of keep a heads up for that. Uh, and yeah, this week should be a fun week on FIFA, man. It really should be. I think you're going to see the market rise. And uh, I, even though there might be a panic screen, or not a panic screen, a loading screen and uh, stuff coming for Team of the Group stage on Friday, I don't really know if you're going to see a lot of panic this week because people just have so many coins that they might not even care what's coming. They're, they're fine with their team. They're happy with their team. Uh, and that's that. So again, this week's going to be a great week to trade with fluctuations as well. When the market is high and the market is going up, it's a great week to just trade it with fluctuations on special cards, on informs, and on icons. If you're an icon flipper, this week should be huge for you. That should be a lot of fun this week with some of those cards as well. So that's kind of the, how I see the market outlook for this week. Again, rising market all week is what I would presume. Probably more SBCs from EA, maybe a league SBC. Probably not one of those, but mostly another player moments card, a flashback SBC or some sort of SBC. And then today, actually, I want to look at this really quick. Um, EA tweeted out something today of, um, what is this, man? What is this right here? A reign of gold over Madrid. Uh, and it says that it's coming on December 2nd, which is today. So I'm really curious to see if this means anything for, um, if it's just like a kit that we're getting in in uh, in the game, which would make sense if, I don't know, uh, that's my hunch right now, but I don't know if there's anything special going on with that, so watch out for that today as well. Uh, and that's the market outlook for this week, boys. Hopefully it's a good one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Of course, if you have any questions, comment down below about anything that could be happening this week. If you do have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.